There are some planets in our solar system that get very, very large. In fact, compared to many others, Earth is one of the smallest globes in our solar system. Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are all much bigger than our home. But of course, no planet is bigger than Jupiter, which is why scientists have been closely monitoring it for decades now. We have discovered fierce storms, new moons, and even a dolphin. That's right, NASA's Juno spacecraft has recently spotted a dolphin swimming through the clouds of Jupiter. Sure, there are no actual dolphins living in Jupiter's 145 degrees Celsius clouds, but the picture taken by Juno is just one of many amazing discoveries that brings us one step closer to learning about the origin of the biggest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is downright enormous, and despite its tremendous size and the interest from so many scientists, there is still so much we don't know about the planet. We recently received some of the first high-definition images from Jupiter, and scientists were baffled by what they found. Let's take a look at some of the first real images of Jupiter and the incredible discoveries we have found from them. A batch of new pictures from Jupiter was obtained through a partnership between the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii and the Hubble Space Telescope. These new pictures reveal some striking, illuminating details about the giant planet. The Gemini North relied on its near-infrared imager to provide infrared wavelength images of Jupiter, whilst the Hubble telescope used its wide-field camera 3 to take shots that were both visible and in ultraviolet light. This approach to astronomy is called multi-wavelength astronomy. Looking at a planet across multiple wavelengths of light can discover invisible features that aren't apparent by any other method. Thanks to this groundbreaking work, we can now see Jupiter in not just one form of light, but several. The results of this project are greatly important for any astronomer or scientist studying the stars. In total, three vastly important shots were taken, and they put Jupiter in a brand new, radically different light. By using infrared, visible and ultraviolet wavelengths, the pictures allow the scientists to view Jupiter in novel ways and give them a side-by-side -side comparison that grants them much more intel and information about the gas giant. The planet looks wildly different in each type of view. For example, the Great Red Spot, a gigantic mass on the planet that has been studied since the 1600s, almost disappears in infrared wavelengths. However, a dark area within the huge storm appears larger in visible light images. This is because different wavelengths of light show off various structures within the storm. After hundreds of years of speculation and countless photos, much more is being learned about the Great Red Spot. But the shots from the Hubble and Gemini North are doing more than clearing up questions about the Great Red Spot. These photos from deep in space revealed something major about many dark features visible on Jupiter. For years, these spots, referred to as holes, have been some of the biggest questions about Jupiter. What are they? Hot, cold, storms or clearings? Well, thanks to this new scientific endeavour, much more is known about these holes. In visible lights, these spots appear dark, but in thermal infrared, researchers actually were able to see that through these holes, the brightness of Jupiter's heat escapes out into space. Typically, the heat of the planet is trapped by the enormous clouds on Jupiter. Speaking of clouds, the new pictures from Jupiter have given scientists a lot of information about the mammoth storms that savage the planet. 
We have known for ages that Jupiter is home to some fierce weather. Did you know that thunderhead clouds on Jupiter can extend 40 miles from base to top, which is about five times the height of a thunderhead here on Earth? Despite that sort of knowledge, there is a lot that isn't known about how storms on Jupiter work. But observing these incredible storm systems isn't easy. Unlike meteorology here on Earth, understanding Jupiter's storms requires the work of many satellites and research. Thanks to these new images and the hard work of the Gemini North and Hubble telescope, we now know just how blustery and unpleasant the weather on Jupiter gets. Through the research, scientists have uncovered a rash of intense lightning flashes which are radio wavelengths that are closely associated with cyclones. The data shows that there are deep, immense water clouds floating above Jupiter. The terrifying storms that plague Jupiter are being formed in and around these deep clouds. These incredible images also give great insight into Jupiter's overall weather patterns, such as how its wind works, the patterns of cyclones on the planet's surface, as well as valuable data about the planet's atmosphere. Unlike Earth, there isn't a solid surface on Jupiter. It's a gas giant, which means there is no strong ground to walk on. Its chaotic atmosphere just gets deeper and denser the farther you go down. With these brand new images, much more about this unique atmosphere and core of Jupiter is now understood. The pictures from this epic project also revealed another natural phenomenon similar to the Great Red Spot. In fact, they uncovered Red Spot Junior, which formed in 2000 when three storms converged and merged into one superstorm. Through the understanding they have received because of the images from Hubble and Gemini North, scientists now think that this new spot might be related to a possible climate change in the atmosphere of Jupiter. The level of detail revealed by these images is unprecedented and far surpasses anything seen by the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecrafts that flew by Jupiter more than 25 years ago. Researchers believe that the pictures sent to Earth give evidence that Jupiter is currently in the middle of a global climate change that will alter the average temperature in some areas by as much as 10 degrees. This would suggest that Jupiter is a planet that is in flux and still changing to this day. Perhaps the coolest and oddest thing that these new pictures have uncovered is a dolphin. That's right, the data sent back from Gemini North and Hubble Telescope have shown us a dolphin on Jupiter. Well, kind of. A cloud formation floating above Jupiter looks an awful lot like a dolphin swimming through the sea. While it's obviously not a real dolphin and is also just a huge coincidence, the resemblance is certainly uncanny. These images became viral when artist Sean Doran took to Twitter and highlighted the dolphin clouds. This isn't the first time that amateur astronomers have found something on the surface of an alien planet that looks bizarre and even supernatural. Remember when so many people were convinced that there was a face resting on the surface of Mars? The new images derived from Gemini North and the Hubble telescope have given so much more information about Jupiter, its atmosphere and how it works. For many years, little was known about the planet. Because of its size, its distance from Earth and its proximity to the Sun, even some experts felt that Jupiter would always remain shrouded in mystery. It's true that new light has been shed on Jupiter thanks to the innovative scientists analysing these images. But there is still so much more to learn. Through the use of visible, infrared and ultraviolet light, new details about the gas giant have been found. But that doesn't mean scientists and astronomers will rest now. Just like other planets in our solar system, 
deep secrets and mysteries remain about Jupiter. But through the use of satellites, telescopes and hard work, more discoveries might be right around the corner. Thanks for watching and while you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.